Here's the motor I'll be using for the first flight in the Executioner. It's an E9-4. Because of the 29mm motor mount, I'll be using a 29-24 to adapter to house the E9 at 24mm in the back of the Executioner, which is 29. Here's my Executioner getting the parachute packed. We've got wadding in there, everything looks good. Packing the parachute, lining up the decals for a nice fit. Now I've mounted my altimeter 2 on the nose cone of the Executioner. The altimeter 2 is a 3-axis accelerometer that will be riding with uh, to give me data back such as max speed, max altitude, duration of burn, g-loading, and uh, other useful information. This is the first flight of my altimeter 2. To arm the altimeter 2, once it's charged you push the button to turn it on and then you need to hold down the button past the data mark to the zeros. When you let go and it's ready for launch, the zeros will be flashing back and forth telling you it's ready to start recording data. The altimeter bay has now been put back together with screws. Notice the portholes. It's important to have the portholes in there so that the ambient pressure on the outside of the rocket can get inside so when the altimeter measures max altitude it's reading the correct barometric pressure rather than what might be inside the rocket at altitude. It's quite a beautiful setting. We're out here in Rainbow Valley, Arizona, just southwest of the Phoenix metro area. First successful flight of my Estes Executioner. Here she is. Final resting place. Looks like a pretty decent launch. Pretty uneventful. All right, here we are back with the Executioner, all in one piece, no real scratches of the paint. She looks pretty good. And now we're going to go ahead and open up the altimeter bay to get a reading off the altimeter 2. All right, here we are with the altimeter 2, and when we initially pull it out, we've got a reading of 108 miles an hour, which flashes, and a max altitude apogee of 626 feet. Now I've got this fancy Apogee sheet here that they've uh, designed for us to print off so we can store our data. So then what you do is you hold this button down until it says data and you let it go and it's going to cycle through all the information. Burn time of 3.0 seconds, peak acceleration of 14.5 G's, Average acceleration of 1.7 G's, coast to apogee time of 4.2 seconds, apogee to ejection time of negative 0.2 seconds, ejection altitude 621 feet, just 5 feet below max altitude, descent speed of 10 miles an hour, that's on the uh, parachuted descent and the total flight duration of 46.9 seconds for a completely successful flight. And you can see here I've stored all that information which I will then input later into a spreadsheet on the computer. 
So we've got a successful first flight of my Estes Executioner with the 29 millimeter mount. We use the 24 millimeter E9 motor, which is the recommended for the stock uh, rocket. We've got the brake point in the middle, which is non-standard, and we've got the altimeter bay up top, which where we rode the altimeter to for its first launch, a successful launch.